There are two parts to the Sabarmati Ashram experience. One is visiting and reliving the original buildings of the Sabarmati Ashram, including Mahatma Gandhi's house, and the other is getting to know about the life of Gandhi ji while exploring the brilliant museum full of photographs, paintings, sculptures, charkas, handwritten documents, newspaper articles, etc. Basically, everything related to Mahatma Gandhi's life can be found here, including his personal belongings like his spectacles, chappal, etc. We recently visited the place ourselves and here is a short glimpse of the beautiful museum complex built by the famous indian architect charles coria And I almost forgot, the entry to the Sabarmati Ashram is absolutely free. And thousands of foreigners from all over the world visit this historic site. So if you live in or are visiting Ahmedabad, do visit the Gandhi Ashram and Museum. And that was just the new museum complex completed in 1963. Here's a short tour of the rest of the ashram, including Mahatma Gandhi's house where he lived from 1918 till 1930. And that was just a short glimpse for you people. Visit the Sabarmati Ashram and enjoy it for yourself. Even the President of the United States visited only a handful of places during his trip to India. And one of them was the Gandhi Ashram. By the way, here are some other names that the ashram is known by. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and share it with your friends. Namaste and I'll see you in the next video.